Good afternoon everyone, my name is Spaceman231 and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the TK Texture for the Zebo 737. So if you're not aware of what the TK Texture is, it's basically a uh, texture modification for the cockpit for the Zebo. makes the cockpit uh, darker and more realistic in my opinion. I think it looks a lot better than the default. And today guys I'm going to be showing you how to download and uh, install this. So like I said, uh, it's here on the X-Plane store, I'll probably leave a link in the description. I'm just going to be downloading the file. It's going to it's just one link. That's all you got to do. And then uh, once you get there, it's going to go to your files. You don't need this anymore. It's going to go into your downloads. TK Texture. Let's find it right here. Yep, TK Zebo Mod. I'm going to double click that to open it. And what you're going to want to do first is you can read the readme. It shows you how to do this, but I'm just going to show you how to do it, uh, I guess, a bit easier. Um, I'm just going to open up two windows so we can see this here. File, open new window. All right, so I'm going to actually go to my aircraft folder here. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the uh, on your Zebo. You're going to go to objects. Go take and then for the Zebo for the TK mod, you're going to open the objects folder here. Copy all this. Copy that, and you're going to paste it into here. Paste. It's already in here, so I'm just going to cancel it. Uh, but yes, you're going to replace the files. Once you do that, that's going to have uh, most of the stuff installed. Now what you need to do is you need to open this livery file. This is an image, and you need to go back and go to your liveries folder. Every single uh, livery that you have, you need to go into the, open it, go to the objects, and you're going to need to copy this into here. I have this right here, and that's what's going to give it the actual cockpit textures that we're looking for. And once you do that, uh, for all your liveries or as many as you use. I personally have it installed on all my liveries. Um, just to show you guys here. It's installed right here. Once you do that, you're going to be able to go into your X-Plane 11, uh, load up your Zebo, and uh, the textures will be in there ready for you to use. And I'll uh, load that up in a second so you guys can see it. All right, guys. Here we are loaded up at the uh, Portland International Airport in the Alaska Airlines livery. I might provide a review of the scene later on in a couple days or so. Like I said, I'm just going to be showing you that the TK texture does work on the Zebo. As you can see, uh, it has the dark textures right here. Uh, you know, it looks very good in my opinion. Uh, just turn the ground power on so you can see what else it offers. The ground power wants to come on. Yeah, I'll just turn the battery on. There it goes. Okay. So now uh, you can see it makes the textures and it makes this look a little different. Um, just a lot to the radio panel. It gives it that kind of red touch to it. That's I think it's pretty cool. I like it. Um, it just it makes the ceiling panel a bit darker overhead panel. I think I like it. But uh, you guys, I just want to show you that this uh, does in fact work and that this will work in your sim if you follow the steps that I've shown in this video. If you like this video, be sure to stay tuned to my channel for more X-Plane 11 content and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. This is Spaceman231. I'm out.